Hey guys, welcome back. Super excited. Welcome back. Pretty excited about this one. This one I'll be making some spinach dip and the outcome will actually be going to somebody. I occasionally will have requests to actually make this for individuals. So with this request, I decided to film it as well and you guys will get to see how I make the spinach dip. This will be a double batch. So just divide everything by half if you want to make a single batch. As you guys continue to watch my videos, you'll notice that I very much like garlic. So we're gonna start off with some garlic. Put in a nice spoonful of garlic. Like I said, this is gonna be a double batch. We will be using two 16 ounce containers of Daisy Sour Cream. One cup of Hellman's Real Mayo. We'll be using two eight ounce cans of whole chestnuts. We will be doing a rough cut or a rough chop of the water chestnuts. So you're able to see the consistency of the rough chop. It is not uniform and the pieces are medium size. They're, they're not huge, but they're not real fine either. All right, adding the water chestnuts to the mix. And we got one large sweet onion. This is also gonna be a rough cut or rough chop. And the onions too will have the same consistency as the water chestnuts, about a, a medium rough cut, uh, approximately the same size. Adding the sweet onions to the mix. We'll be using two vegetable packets in this. As I mentioned, this is a double batch. Two 10 ounce boxes of frozen chopped spinach. So we'll have to we'll have to heat this up, of course. All right, now we have the spinach unpackaged. Uh, we just have to put it in the microwave, put it in the microwave for approximately seven minutes, and then we have to completely drain it. This will be the hardest task of the whole entire dip. While that spinach is cooking, the last video that I did was a step-by-step -step depiction of my accessible kitchen. If you wanna take a, a gander at that video, by all means, I will leave the link in the description so you guys can view that easily or, or accessibly. So now that we have our spinach, uh, it is completely cooked. 
Uh, I did take a, a fork to it just to make sure that there was no frozen spots still. As I mentioned, this is the most difficult part in making the dip for me due to the fact that I don't have the greatest hand dexterity. But I want to warn you that, of course, the contents of the spinach is very hot. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put it in a strainer, we're gonna hit it with cold water, and then that way we're able to fully drain the spinach before we put it into the dip. making sure that there's absolutely no water in each portion that you pull out. All right, now the last step in the creation of this dip is just to stir it really well. And one thing that I just wanted to add was one thing that's very important to the creation of this is I believe that you need to put this into or create this in a glass bowl. So you are after, after we do finish stirring this up, we are going to put a piece of tin foil over it and then of course put it in the refrigerator and you're going to need to leave it in the refrigerator for I would say approximately 12 hours at a minimum. Um, and then once you do serve it, make sure that you stir it up again prior to serving it. But the, the glass bowl aspect I believe is very important uh, as opposed to plastic. So good luck and hope you enjoy. Now, of course, before it goes into the refrigerator, I have to try a little bit. Awesome. Enjoy. Thank mm -hmm. you.